Hello, welcome back to my channel. My name's Christina. This is Nessie. Nessie, say hello. Welcome back. So today I want to be reviewing and giving some opinions on the Body Butter Bakery products. Um, also, real quick before we start, don't leave. Um, thank you so much for 1,700 subscribers. I was not expecting that. Never thought I'd even get to this point. So huge, huge thank you. Um, and I also as you can see, have a new mic because I want to give you guys better quality content vocally. I've gotten a lot of um, input on that. So here we are. Thank you so much. So I want to just share a little bit about how I know about Body Butter Bakery. Um, sorry, it's a little bit of a tongue twister here. Uh, I, when I was on Instagram and when I had my own personal social media accounts, I followed them when they were like at like 10K, I was about to say subscribers, uh, followers. I had ordered multiple scents. Um, so I will be giving my input on some scents that I have tried before because I remember them very clearly, um, as well as the products that I'm going to be reviewing today day, which is a new scent that I took a leap of faith on, and I'll give you my opinions on the quality and on the scents. Even after all this time, I've still been a email subscriber. I saw that they had one where they were doing a special um, for a discount even on their entire kits, and so I was like, you know what? It would be really cool to try this new type of body butter that they offer during the summers because for a while they wouldn't offer body butters during the summers because it got so hot their body butter would melt um so now they have one that has like some kind of preservatives in it and so um you can get it shipped especially if you live in hot regions like florida and um it easily melts so this doesn't melt and it's a different type of texture so i want to talk about the differences between them the types of scents the qualities and then overall just my experience on these products and using these products products. Um, I do want to say that for a while I had tried these products and then I tried a different brand's products that was similar and I really didn't like them. Now in terms of the other type, the other brand's types of packaging, I liked that it came in a glass jar. It felt way more luxurious. Um, I did like the branding itself. It felt really high end, but the quality was okay, but there was some kind of weirdness to the scent. I, I couldn't even fathom to smell it. I couldn't open it, so I gifted it to somebody. Um, but there was some kind of like undertone smell to it that I just could not handle. So I was like, okay, I think I know that I like the Body Butter Bakery scents, but um, there are, you know, of course I would love glass jars that does make shipping more expensive, things like that. But I think that, you know, if I'm going to be doing some kind of self-care and I want it to feel luxurious, I want it to feel luxurious. You know what I mean? I, I really like it. But I understand, you know, that there's, you know, some kind of cheaper uh, element. You don't have as many shipping issues when you're uh, mailing plastic, things like that. And I, I'm sure that you could recycle plastic. I do like glass jars. I think glass jars are freaking awesome. Um, I think that they're great. I do like to reuse them. I'll put things in them. Sometimes I'll make my own little hair care concoctions in them. So I would like to have glass jars, but that's not a deal breaker, of course. Um, the most important part is I'm not buying the glass jar necessarily. I'm buying what's in the jar. So I get that. Um, I'm just putting my little nitpicky comments out there of something that I tried, a competitor, something I liked about it. But of course, I liked the insides of the Body Butter Bakery, Body Butter Bakery products better. Um, so we're going to go through. I actually have, I have like their whole line here, except for the whipped body butters. But I have the champagne and apple honey um, body scrub. Um, and I'm going to be giving you my opinions on what you need and what you don't need. Um, I also have the, it's all the same scent, the champagne, apple, and honey um, summer silky, silky summer butter. Um, I have the apple and honey body uh, gel. And then they have the champagne, apple, and honey body oil. We're going to just start off by talking about the Silky Summer Butter. I think this is what most people are probably here for because it is Body Butter Bakery. Um, this is the Silky Summer Butter. Um, I know it looks like I haven't used a lot, but listen, I'm serious. I have used this quite a bit. Um, this actually goes a long way, a little goes a long way when it comes to this. This is the eight ounces. Um, she did raise her prices, which everybody's been raising their prices for everything recently within the past like year and a half. So I think it's like 
22 or $25 for one of these now, but she runs sales all the time. I got everything that I showed you for about $47. I think, came, I think it came out to 52 with tax. So I got all that, which I would say is pretty good. And that included shipping because I qualified for free shipping. So I don't think that that's bad. Um, I would say definitely hold off if you're doing it and you like sales, like I like sales, <laughs> wait for a sale. Although I will say, she does have a Black Friday sale that's pretty good. Um, I think it's usually about 40% off. I could be wrong. It could change. Um, that's just what I remember previously. But it will take you time to get those products um, because she just has so many orders. It is a small business. I love supporting small businesses, which is a big part of why I'm reviewing this. And um, I know that they've grown on social media quite a bit. So you know, I want to bring more light to these products, um, give my honest opinion, and really just love on small businesses. Businesses. I think that's freaking awesome. I own a small business, so um, I know how important and has, how special that is. Um, so yes, this is a Silky Summer Butter. Before I'm going to get into this scent and this texture fully, I want to explain the three or four other types that I have tried scent-wise, and I want to explain them to you because I love very descriptive scents, and that is that is one thing that I do wish that her site had a little bit more. I want full description. I can understand maybe a little bit of a concept from a sentence or two, but I want I want you to tell me the story. What am I buying? And I'm very particular with the types of scents that I I want um, in general. And it was it was a a leap of faith for me to take this scent because man, I wish that she had like a little packet of just different different scent uh like scents to smell just to see which one you like because I want to find like a permanent fall in love perfect for me my scent kind of thing. Um but of course that, you know, from a marketing standpoint, you know, I know <laughs> that it's better for people to just buy them and if they don't like them just have to stick with them gift them um keep them on their shelf you know whatever it is until they can get another one um you can't return them which is totally understandable um but i would love to be able to smell and make my decision but you make more money when they just have every scent you know when they're just buying every scent because they love your quality they love your branding so much so i get it i totally get it um the ones that i had tried before the lemon pound cake, that one smells so good. It is to die for, like you want to eat it. Um, the reason why I didn't buy the lemon pound cake again is the undertone smell of it for me is too much bubble gum. Now, like when you smell something initially, it's going to wear differently than what you smell initially. Like the top notes are very lemon heavy. Um, I like citrus and that lemon scent throughout the day so when my clothes smell like my body butter because i'm showering i'm putting on the butter i'm maybe trying to let it sit and then i'm putting clothes on and all that my clothes smell like bubble gum they don't smell like lemon they're not citrusy the undertone of the scent is not not the same as the initial top scent so i love the top scent but the the lasting scent is not it's not my scent. Um, it smells fantastic. You'll smell it and you'll go, whoa, like there's not many scents that I do. I'm also like, I'm kind of getting back into body, Bath and Body Works, but like not really only because I was gifted something recently. And there is one scent that I like, which is the coconut and cotton. Um, I like those musky, ambery um, types of smells. I don't like very floral. I don't like very tangy scents necessarily. Um, but man, I just, there's something about her fragrances, Body Butter Bakery's fragrances that is just out of this world. I cannot even begin to describe it. So I like the lemon pound cake. It smells so good, but the way it wears smells too much like bubble gum. I can't do it. Um, the other one that I've also tried is the strawberries and cream, which does smell really good, but it's not it's not like sweet strawberry enough for me. Um, it doesn't have like the right scent. It's very, um, it's very fruity, tangy. Kind of reminds me of like, I know this sounds weird, but I'm trying to get descriptive for you guys so you can understand. Um, kind of like freed, freeze dried strawberries. It doesn't smell like strawberry candy necessarily to me, which is what I want. I want like a sweet strawberry candy, candy scent. Like I want to feel like I'm eating like 
a lollipop, a strawberry lollipop or something, or like some juicy lip gloss, you know, and I would hope it would smell more creamy necessarily. Like I'm thinking like a tangy strawberry bubble gum mixed with a marshmallow scent. That's what I was hoping for. Like a, a deep vanilla marshmallow. And I was not getting that. It was more of a top note, um, tangy strawberry, like freeze dried strawberry, slight strawberry, but not a rich strawberry smell with like a rich marshmallow smell. It's more of just like a tangy, sweet, um, like after whiff. Um, it just was not, it was not what I was expecting. So I will say the one that I did like the most uh, was the pina colada one. It smells exactly exactly like a dum dums lollipop they're like white pina i think it's a like pina colada lollipop i'll put it on the screen it is delicious it was part of my childhood so maybe i'm a little biased but um it smells just like that it's not it doesn't smell like a pina colada like mix necessarily it's a very tolerable pina colada um it's delicious and it's fantastic and i really liked that one honestly the most um and then i also got the orange creamsicle one for my husband and i thought maybe he'd like that one but i i just thought i was a little bit disappointed with that scent it wasn't as um orange creamsicle as i had hoped um it was more mild which is fine but i mean i i love the good scents and when i like a scent i love a scent and i'll repurchase it so um i would say probably my favorites were the lemon pound cake the longevity of it i wasn't a huge fan of but i do like that one a lot i mean it smells freaking fantastic you gift that to somebody and they're like well, this is the best gift I ever had in my entire life. Fantastic. Um, but for me, long term, not my thing. But I think that there is one in her sense. I just haven't gotten to it yet. Um, and then the pina colada one. Fantastic. Fantastic. Tastes, well, tastes, <laughs> smells just like a dum dum lollipop. Um, and so now here we are with the champagne, apple, and honey. Um, I'm going to tell you a little bit about this scent, and then I'm going to talk to you about the differences between the original lemon butter pound cake ones that I had got that collection, all of it, um, and the texture of the silky summer butter because they are different. Um, this one is interesting. It smells... I was like, okay, how am I going to describe this to them? Because I thought about doing an unboxing and like describing it to you as I opened it, but I wanted to actually test these out a little bit. So that's why I took some time with this. This smells right out of the box. It is tangy. It has kind of like a sharp scent. It smells like something. If you have used Bath and Body Works <laughs> like 10 years ago, it smells like something, something from what those lines, like some kind of limited edition, something they had. Now here's what I wanted. I wanted a lot of apple and a lot of honey. I'm not usually a fan of champagne scents. Okay. Champagne toast at Bath and Body Works is not my thing. I'm, some people it is no shame. It's not my thing. Um, so I was like, please, please don't let it be too champagne. Um, you couldn't mix and match with this box. So I'm just like, I'm getting all of one. Let's see how it smells. Um, the best way I could describe it is I can see where the apple is coming from and I understand the concept behind it. It definitely is more of like a floral fruity scent, but it's not apple directly. It doesn't smell like apple juice. It's more of like a sweet, bright champagne scent. Um, it definitely kind of hits your nostrils hard. It's not necessarily subtle. It's more strong tang right dopamine hit of just tang that's what i can think of in my head kind of like you're smelling a lemonade does that make sense um i don't know how to describe that but it's not like a sweet apple juice if you were to describe it in an apple term it's a really tangy apple juice limited sugar scent i don't really know where the honey's coming in i mean when you smell it it kind of makes sense but also like if it didn't say honey in the label, would I have really thought honey? Probably not. I would say it's more champagne apple and then like honey only because it says honey in it. But if there's one way I can describe this to somebody be like, is this for me? It smells like the clean girl aesthetic. Like if you could bottle the clean girl aesthetic in this, this smells clean. It smells fresh. It smells like, you know, like that satisfying smell when you like use Clorox in your house and you've been like bleaching everything. You have a freshly bleached shower clean. It smells clean. It smells like you just bleached your body. <laughs> that might sound strange, but it sounds like you just like 
deep cleansed the entirety of everything you smell deeply cleansed i will say it's definitely like fruity floral um in its own way but it is sweet and it's not overwhelmingly fruity you, it, it's more champagne than it is apple for sure so it's not going to be like she has like a crisp apple and she has like a fruit line it doesn't smell like straight fruit um it's more the apple and the honey are very very subtle necessarily but i can see how she mentioned apple in it um now i would really love like I would love some kind of description like this is where i'm going back to like the marketing aspect of how i'd love more like descriptive words of what what kind of story does this tell um i think stories are are very helpful in people understanding what kind of um products they're getting but also what kind of mood is the scent setting because um for me I'm a very aesthetic person. Um, I easily am very imaginative and I like to romanticize my life. <laughs> um, so, and I've always been that way. So it's like, I want you to sell me on how this is going to make me feel. So for example, like when you think of like pumpkin and spice and pumpkin spice lattes, like you're thinking like cozy winter mornings. You're thinking of snuggling up on your couch, lighting a candle, cookies in the oven, reading a Jane Austen book. Like that's a story. That's what a scent story kind of tells me. So for this, I'm like, okay, what kind of what kind of story does this tell me? And like I'm sitting here and I'm just gonna imagine and just like spit out whatever like I get. So my first thoughts are if you were to be like skipping through an apple orchard and like picking apples off of a tree and collecting them in your basket, covering them with your little red striped picnic basket blanket, you're galloping back to your family's estate where your dad has an apple cider company and he makes cider and you're not taking those freshly picked, like you're smelling the apple, you're feeling like the red skin of it. It's not waxy, it's soft, it glitters in your hands as you're looking at it. And it's so clean and it's so red and so perfect. And you can smell the fragrance of the apple right off of the apple without even having to take a bite. It's just fragrant. It smells sweet, it smells juicy. You're, you hand your dad these apples and he's putting them in to be fermented those apples get pressed i I don't even really know much about the apple uh industry so you know i'm just being imaginative here but those apples are getting pressed into like a sweet apple juice and then becomes tangly fermented um do you want to smell that okay you can't you you cannot lick that you cannot lick that but that's that's what i'm getting initially another perspective of how to describe that is like it smells like I'm cleaning my house and drinking a bottle of champagne. Like it smells like just like I'm going to deep clean and organize my house right now. Like that's how it smells to me. So it, it is kind of a productive smell because it's bright, it's cheery, and it's awakening. It's not more of a cozy smell. It is an awakening scent. Um, so that's the best way that I could describe it having it here. But I love scents that tell stories. I hope that can give you a better perspective of how I feel smelling this product. Okay, so now I want to get into the actual texture of the product. I'm going to put in clips so that you can see the quality of the texture. But I want to say this. When I tried the whipped body butter, I really did like the whipped body butter texture. Um, I think it's unique. I think it sells really special. Um, I think it looks special. I think it feels special. Part of that makes me be like, man, I really love the whipped one. However, there are differences um, about this in terms of the way that it wears that I like better versus the application that I liked better. I like the whipped butter better because I think that it does feel super whipped. Um, I think it stays whipped if you're able to keep it in a cool, dry place. Um, you know, you can't take it with you anywhere if you wanted to. Um, I haven't taken this anywhere with me, but like, man, you can't let that thing sit in the sun because it will melt into like true butter type look like it just melts as soon as is possible um and so that would affect the quality um i don't think it stores as well either long term but it is really really nice in the whipped body butter when i would apply it on my skin one thing that really stuck with me was 
it felt like it was a little bit more greasy, um, which isn't bad necessarily, but that's part of why it transferred so much of my clothes. Um, and I also have Aussies. I have Australian shepherds who have super long hair and I mean, as much as I vacuum my house, if you're an Aussie owner, you know, uh, you cannot, you cannot like keep up with the hair in your house. So I'd be walking around my house and the hair would stick to my legs because it was just so greasy, if that makes sense. And it's hard to get off. And then my fingers feel a little bit greasy, but that's because it really is like a butter texture. That's, that's the, that's the truth of like the oil butter texture. So the wear I didn't really like as much, but I did like the texture using it. And I did like the actual um, product itself. Um, but the wear just was not my favorite. With this Silky Summer Butter, it's different. Um, I'll say this, like you can see, and I'll show you more in the video, you can see that the texture, it's not as whipped looking. Now, when I got it initially, it looked whipped, but as it's been sitting here, um, it's not really whipped at all on the sides as much, uh, just because I think it's kind of settled, like the air bubbles, air bubbles have moved up. So now it's just not like the same texture it is still whipped but it's more of like a lotion this texture is not a butter because uh, it says silky summer butter it's not a butter it's more of a lotion now when i was looking at her like um advertising i was like thinking that the silky summer butter would be more of like a whipped frothy texture that's that's the vibe that i got but it's definitely more lotiony i would say it is kind of buttery um but it's it's really i would say more of just like a lotiony especially as you apply it on um it's just it's very very lotiony in my opinion um a little does go a super long way like this could probably cover like all the way up my forearm and into my hands um and i mean i still have some left over so it really does like it does work and a little does go a long way that's why you're like christine you barely use this no trust me like i've used it all the time um and i've alternated using it because the scent is just really strong for me um it's very tangy it's interesting it's unique i, I do like the scent um for sure but it's definitely just um not my favorite favorite scent but something that i will be using because I bought it <laughs> and so um and it, i don't hate it so i'll be using it but um but yeah, the texture is more lotiony. But what I like about it is the longevity of it, um, because I don't feel like I'm greasy at all. I don't feel like it sits on top of my skin. I feel like it really absorbs well into my skin, and I really do like that. Um, when I'm walking around my house, it uh, doesn't like stick a whole bunch of hair like the same way that like. I just attracted a whole bunch of hair with like the right, like the other types of body butter because it's, I feel like it's more of like a matte moisture versus like a, a glowy moisture, if that makes sense. That's the best way I could describe it to you. Um, so the matte moisture is preferred on my end. I feel like it absorbs faster into my skin. My skin stays hydrated better. It's really just like my skin just sucks it up. So um, I do like the formula of this one better. Um, I know it has preservatives in it. I will say like my only hesitancy about fragranced products in general um, is I just don't know where these fragrances are coming from. And I'll be the first to tell you that I haven't done any type of research into these ingredients that she has. Um, I trust that she has quality ingredients in a sense. Like it says here, like shea butter and mango butter and, you know, aloe leaf juice and all this stuff. And then it says fragrance. And then it has some other words that I don't quite recognize. So maybe those are parts of the fragrance. And, and who am I to say, you know, like, oh, well, she doesn't clarify what kind of fragrance. Not necessarily, but I I think that it is important to consider what we put on our bodies. Like our skin is our biggest organ and, you know, some fragrances are very chemically. There have been, you know, people and claims and studies about fragrance in general um, and how it can affect the skin. Um, I think it's important to consider where it's sourced. That's a big part of why I wasn't using um, Bath and Body Works for a while. Um, and you know, I like to be minimal with the fragrances that I use, but I also do like fragrance. I like the smell of fragrance. Like it's such a catch 22. Um, so 
you know, no complaints on the quality of fragrance because it smells fantastic, but I would like education, um, in like an email thread. I would just like education maybe on her site about the quality of the ingredients. Um, cause yes, it smells fantastic, but I do want to know a little bit more. It just says fragrance. Um, I do want to lo- know a little more. Okay. What's in that fragrance? Where is it sourced? Like is, you know, fragrance being sourced in some weird, you know, industry in China. Like, I don't, I don't know. I I don't know. Um, so that's my only like concern ingredients wise is I'm just very cautious about fragrance, but I think you'll find people that are, but at the same time, if you're buying like nice fragrance stuff, you might not be. Um, I'm kind of in the middle of, you know, sometimes I am and sometimes I'm not, but I do like the peace of mind of knowing where fragrance is coming from or that it's sourced ethically or that, you know, what kind of chemicals are in it. Um, it just feels a little bit vague necessarily, but you know, it's not a deal breaker. It just also in some ways i think for some people for peace of mind i think it could be important so um that would be fantastic if there was more resources about the quality of of certain things that might be like a concern uh for consumers but overall i really like this formula um i do i do i do i think it's i think it's special um it does feel more lotiony but i think it smells good i think if you're if you've tried her fragrances they're absolutely fantastic like they do smell incredible like one of a kind so um you know i don't don't think you're gonna find any scents like this at like a bath and body works or anything like that the silky summer butter i would absolutely recommend i think that overall the value supporting a small business the smells like the different scents that they have everything it's just really really fantastic i do like it if you're looking for like true luxurious goodness if you haven't already please take a moment to subscribe it would mean the world so honestly for me personally i would probably get this all day long maybe a little bit before the butter it's it's a very close tie but i really do like this this is the nourishing body scrub and here's what's so special about this body scrub this is worth every dollar in my opinion it is actually scrubby (laughs) i know this sounds strange but this has a coarseness to it okay because my thing is i hate buying a body scrub and it doesn't have any coarseness it doesn't feel like it's really scrubbing my body um this feels like it is scrubbing my body like my body is getting all of its dead skin off. It is, it works. Um, fantastic. I, I think that this is one of the most exfoliating types that you can find. I have not found one that actually, uh, scrubs well. And the thing is like, sometimes the sugar crystals in some scrubs can like die out on your skin while you're like rubbing it this stays coarse the entire time. Um, and I really, I really, really, really like that. Um, I like how exfoliating it is. Um, it smells fantastic. It's not too much oil, like too little sugar. It's the perfect, perfect, perfect amount. Um, and then while you're washing it off, here's like, here's like the best part. While you're washing it off, it leaves a nourishing oil on your skin. It doesn't feel like your skin is like now scrubbed dry. It feels like your skin was cleansed and then replenished with healthy oils. It feels so good. There's no better scrub that I have used. And honestly, I would probably get the scrub all day long, um, especially if it was like a fantastic scent that I absolutely just fell in love with. Like the scrub is worth it. Um, and a little goes a long way because it doesn't die out. So like you're using a little bit on your hand to like exfoliate your arm and it's actually exfoliating and you can get full use out of it. You don't have to do like whole handfuls. Yeah, it's fantastic. I love the scrub the most. Um, that is my favorite, favorite part absolutely love um and then i also have the shower gel and bubble bath um you can see kind of the texture of it here it is very it's like very jelly it's like it's almost like slime (laughs) um that's probably the best way i can describe it um which isn't bad 
at all, in my opinion. Um, I think it's interesting. I don't really see many body washes like this. It lathers great. Um, I I don't use it for bubble bath because I don't have a bathtub. I only have a shower. So I've only used it as shower gel. I've only used it in my hands and with a loofah and both times have been fine. Um, I've used it while shaving. It was great. Um, it's like, it's very it's just fun like seeing it because it's very slime like in a way um but I think it's good I mean I don't think it's bad I don't think it's I don't think it's a you know must have but I don't think it's bad either I would say if you're the person that wants like a full kit of just everything smells the same get it like it's there's no doubt in my mind it's great it's an interesting texture it lathers I can shave well it smells good you know the whole shebang um do I feel like I need to go out of my way to purchase it probably not like if I have a body butter or if I have a body scrub and I cleanse with like a regular cleanser that I get at you know Publix or something I can still smell like those products I don't have to have this but if you're the person who likes like the idea of like a full body kit. Um, yeah, if you're a huge body gel person, give it a try. It's unique. It's small business made. It's interesting. But yeah, it's not It's not bad. It's not um, an absolute must have, but it's not bad. I, I think it's pretty good. Um, and then last that it came with was this champagne apples in honey um, rejuvenating body oil. Now, I'm not really a body oil person for the same reason that I'm gonna say like, I didn't like the way that the whipped body butter wore as much as the silky summer butter. I just, I need my skin to absorb it a little bit faster um, or else I'm going to have dog hair all over me and I don't really like feeling greasy. So um, this has a lot of different types of oils in it. Um, it's not bad. I think it's, it's pretty good for the most part. Um, it smells good. You know, it smells like the same line. Um, it's definitely oily. It feels good. I have used this when I was going outside to tan <laughs> um, just to give it a try. Um, I don't think that I'll be using this every day. I think it's going to take me a lot of time to use this entire bottle. Um, it's not necessarily like a must-have deal breaker. I just wanted to give it a try to let you guys know my thoughts and see if it was. But I, I can't imagine that there's really a huge need for a body oil. Now, if you're a body oil person and you thrive and your skin needs it and your skin loves it, um, I think that this could be really great. It's light. Um, it feels good. It smells good. Um, but for me personally, I don't really have a huge need for body oil, especially if I have a body butter already. Um, but you know, it has been decent going outside, using it by the pool. Um, it smells good, but it's going to be hard for me to use this. So I think that I'm going to have a giveaway when I hit 2000 subscribers and I'm going to give this away to somebody with a box of just little fun goodies as well. Um, I also have a coupon that I'll be giving you guys, so that'll be cool. Um, but I can't say like that this is a must have for me for sure. Um, but it's not bad either, but I'm going to say like, if you are in a pinch. You're like, listen, I want to try something new. I want to support small business. I want to smell delish. Um, I would say body scrub and body butter. Do it. Those, those are the ones that you want, my friend. But if you're like, listen, I want to be that girl. I want the full collection. I want to smell fantastic XYZ. Yeah, get the whole collection, get the gel, get the body oil, get it all. Um, I'm very hesitant to buy an entire collection of one scent that I've never smelled before until I've at least smelled it in like a smaller form. Um, so, you know, if you're very hesitant like me and you don't got money to spend, welcome to the club, my friend. Um, no, but really like I, I like to be very frugal in a sense of I, I'm not going to just spend so much money on something if I don't know or if I don't like it. Um, so I only bought this entire collection because I could use it to create a video for you guys and um, I could review something new for you and a smaller business. So and bring some attention, hopefully, to a smaller business. You know, 
take your time with the different scents. I would say like she has like small two ounce ones. Get different scents. Like get a two ounce scent of multiples and and just try them and see what you like and if you don't like them give them away to your friends or like give them a chance use it even if you don't like it like try it and then you can determine be like oh that's my scent i love this scent i can't live without this scent i love the way it wears on my body i love the way it smells on my clothes xyz so don't you know don't fully dive in unless you got the monies to do it or you really want to but you know i encourage you to ease in to find your perfect scent but man if you like smelling really good like dessert and like i wouldn't say that these are too desserty like it doesn't smell like it came necessarily out of a bakery but it does smell good like it smells sweet a lot of her scents that i have tried are pretty good like i'm just picky um but they are really good so there is a scent out there i truly believe it she's always offering new scents so give it a try based on what you know you like if you know you don't like fruity scents like don't get juicy apple like you know that you don't want that get something that actually interests you and give them a little try because you really never know what you're getting until you get it um and then give it a fair shot and try it for you know a month or two like i have um and i promise you you'll be able to really discern what you like and what you don't like pretty fast so i hope that this helps um, overall, I would say, yeah, I do recommend the Body body Butter Bakery products. I think that they are fantastic. I love supporting small business. Um, it's fantastic to see that they have grown so much and they offer so many different products and that they're doing really good. And I think that there is something so great about supporting small business. I think there's something so fun about smelling like a snack <laughs> or smelling like a dessert, you know? Um, I think that's so fun in body care care is something you know that is very very um intriguing and exciting to get into and yeah i i totally totally recommend body butter bakery i think that they are worth giving a try um especially if some of the scents kind of catch your eye or if you've seen them on social media or anything like that so um yes well my name is christina thank you so much for watching i hope this helped you make more informed decisions if you haven't please subscribe i would so so appreciate it i will see you in the next one bye for now